I want to introduce to you something that's very exciting. It is into AWS Lambda, which is an event-driven compute service for dynamic applications. You can reduce your development effort by writing no more glue code. You can respond to new and updated data quickly. You can make extending applications without, by writing new code without actually having to change the old code. You can improve performance through concurrency. And you have to run no servers, no instances, nothing. You just write a code and it will run for you. And so the focus here is on events. And so these events may be driven by, for example, AWS service, services that will trigger these events. That could be, for example, an, uh, uh, an S3 upload notification or um, a DynamoDB stream update. We will get to there in a minute. And you'll write some code. In this case, we were starting off. We'll just provide JavaScript, which you will be able to write other code later on as well. And most importantly, as this will run for you automatically without any compute infrastructure that you have to provision for it. This is easy to use, low maintenance. You can run code without managing infrastructure. Let me repeat that. You can wrote, write code without having to manage any infrastructure. The cloud functions you write are in JavaScript, and Lambda will take care of managing, scaling, monitoring, and logging for you. It will respond very fast to events. Execution of such a function is in milliseconds after that the event is being triggered. Each event is then processed through that stateless cloud function that you've written. And thousands of functions can run in parallel. And this is great, because your code will only run when needed. For example, if you have a mobile device that will send an update uh, to S3 that will then be triggered a cloud function, only then the function will run. You won't have to have this running all the time. It will be very low fee per request, cost effective at high rates, low rates, and you know you can run it once a month, or maybe you can run thousands of these functions a second. And so these events will come in many, many different shapes and forms. Uh, for example, S3 event notifications when objects change or update or being uh, emitted. Uh, it could be DynamoDB streams. Remember, this launched a few days ago, where actually you can get update streams out of all the uh, changes that happen in DynamoDB. Uh, Kinesis events, when events are being added to the Kinesis uh, 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 streams. Or they can be custom events, just driven by you, for example, from your mobile devices. And if you look at the number of these use cases, for example, you want to write server-free backends. Uh, the example that I just gave for mobile devices where you just want to have a backend that, uh, that can respond to any of the updates that you send. Um, it can be data triggers. Uh, for example, you do a send an image file into Amazon S3, and you immediately want to create some thumbnails for it. Or it can be the world of the Internet of Things, where your sensor, when it certain, um, there's a temperature change will happen, will be able to trigger uh, one of the Lambda functions such that you can send an SMS message to, um, to the owner. Uh, or it will be stream processing, where, for example, updates in DynamoDB, you will be able to do, uh, execute business functions on data changes that happen. Um, or, of course, indexing and synchronization is one of the common things that customers do on our platform with S3. So you will upload data into Amazon S3, and, or, and then you will want to run a function to actually extract the metadata from that and put that in DynamoDB. Let's actually go through that last example. That might be a, a, a good one. So you have a mobile device. You upload a photo in your S3 bucket, which will send, which will trigger your Lambda function that you've written, who will then extract the metadata from that uh, photograph and will put it in uh, DynamoDB. And then it will trigger 
another function over all the streams of DynamoDB to figure out which of the metadata functions, for example, place or location or user, are actually trending. And then you can add another function to it that actually notifies the customer if his or her photo is actually one of the trending, um, one of the trending photos. All of this you can write without running any infrastructure, any instances to do. It becomes extremely simple to build highly reliable, highly concurrent applications this way. So if you think about cost of this service, yeah, there's a number of unit costs that come along. So first of all, there's the number of requests, and we'll count them per million. Then there is execution time in hundreds of milliseconds. And then there is the amount of memory that you use in blocks of 128. And so the pricing of this will be 20 cents per million request and a lot of zeros and then 21 for every 100 milliseconds at 128 megabytes. But more importantly, for all of you that want to try out this service, there is a free tier, for base free tier for all customers each month, where you can get up to 3.2 million seconds of execution and 1 million requests. I think this is a great way to get started, and it will totally revolutionize the way that you will be writing your business applications. It's available today in preview. Today, available for you today in preview, so go and sign up and uh, you can get started.